If you walk straight into the UCC atrium and take a right, you'll find Jigo Juice, Western University's newest smoothie parlor. Replacing Booster Juice, which had previously operated on campus for 10 years, Jigo Juice offers similar menu items like smoothies and fresh juices. Established in 1988, Jugo Juice has grown into a national smoothie giant with over 100 locations across Canada. In a statement to the Gazette, Colin Porter, Western's Director of Hospitality Services, said that Jugo Juice aligns with the demand for more healthy, fresh, and clean options. But at what cost does Jugo Juice offer these alternatives to Western students? The price of a classic smoothie at Jugo Juice will take you back $5.45. Upgrade that to a large and you're now paying $8.45. Want a protein boost? Add $3.50. An amenity shot, $0.75. Cents. Suddenly, your seemingly $5 smoothie is now $12.70. Plus tax, that's almost $15. To put that into perspective, that same price can get you three cream cheese bagels from The Spoke, a two-piece combo from Monchi Walk, or a foot-long sandwich from Subway. But paying upwards of $15 for a smoothie isn't anything new. In fact, the cost of Jugo Juice compares to most other juice bars across the country. So why is the markup on Jugo Juice so high? And how much do those smoothies really cost to make? This is the markup analysis of Jugo Juice. The Jugo Juice is a uh, well-developed concept um, that has healthier choices, I would say, compared to some of the booster choices. Our biggest goal is to provide a healthier eating style for people who are always on the go. Especially you see a lot of fast food brands are full of GMO products. They're not super healthy. So uh, our mission is really to provide this clientele with a, a healthier eating option. I know for a fact that we're probably the only juice bar who uses natural whole fruits in our products as opposed to purees, syrup. So we're trying to position ourselves as a slightly more elegant smoothie brand instead of just artificial flavors. I'm going to read you a quote from Western Hospitality Services. Jugo juice aligns with the demand for more healthy, fresh, and clean options. But the question here is at what cost? Why do you think that students are willing to spend upwards of $15 for a smoothie that they're going to devour in five minutes? Yeah, so, but, but it's kind of like, the, like what the quote says. It's like you're, you're not just buying the juice. A lot, lots of people have bought into the idea that you know, natural food is, is good for you. And they're, they're kind of playing to the idea that you're willing to, you're willing to pay more if you think you're you're kind of doing something else good to do with buying the, buying the product. The challenge with any franchise model is it's set pricing by that brand. And what we've noticed over the last few weeks is that the average customer is spending a dollar less at Jugo Juice than what they were at Boosters. Despite this dollar decrease in price, $8 for a smoothie remains out of reach for much of Western student demographic. Unfortunately, COVID took a massive toll on the supply chain, not only with the changing environment affecting crops around the world, but we've had globally manufacturers shut down. We have a, a employee crisis. How we set these prices is we have to calculate the cost of goods, the cost of labor, and all the costs associated with being open. Food cost is about 30%. You have labor cost, which is around 30% as well. And between utilities, rent, everything you have, repairs, equipment, about another 30 to 35%. At the end of the day, you'd be surprised to know that our profit margin on most of these is anywhere between 2 and 6% only. With this new knowledge in mind, I set out on a mission to find out how much it would cost for me to make a similar smoothie at home. I headed down to the grocery store in the UCC and picked up some bananas, frozen strawberries, and apple juice. Altogether, these ingredients cost me $13.38, much more than I had anticipated. The smoothie turned out well, but it definitely lacked that signature Juco juice flavor. 
ultimately, what I've learned is that you're not just buying a smoothie, you're buying convenience. Because let's face it, who in the right mind would bring a blender to campus just to save a few dollars?